It seems like every day some new product is getting a thumbs up on the internet, but how do you know if it's really a thumbs down? Well, we're gonna break the news to you in a segment we call Buzz or Bust. <laughs> Starting with this trend, but is it too much of a stretch? It's called toga, and not surprisingly, it's yoga for your toes. But does it get too big toes up? The only way to find out is let's try it with toga expert Nicole Schock, who joins us from Playlist Yoga Studio. Toga, toga. All right, re really quickly, and, and we are going to put this to the test. But before we do, why why yoga for the toes? Why not? All right, I'm in. I like right. it. Start there. Um, I like it. Listen, it's a trendy word. If it has the word yoga and toes in it, I'm happy about that because it's bringing attention to the feet, right? So it's mostly it's mostly about intrinsic foot strength and getting attention and blood flow into the feet, paying attention to that. Everything starts from the ground up. Makes sense, right? Well, I was yeah. going to participate, but as I explained to Dr. Batra, I did not apparently do enough toga in my youth. And my toes are, they probably could have benefited from Toga. Will you, will you two do a little demo? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. So the first thing we're gonna do mm -hmm. is you're gonna take your toes and spread them wide apart. Okay. Right? Oh, great spread. Ah, thanks. She's got a great spread, you guys. Whoa! That, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> How do you do that, Dr. B? That's like duck feet. Honestly, <laughs> oh, oh, thank so nice. you, I try. Okay, <laughs> so the first move we're gonna do, you're gonna lift up all the toes, and this okay. is called a toe push-up. So I want you to take mm -hmm. the lateral four down, put okay. them all the way down and leave just the big toes up. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh. yeah. All right. Right? Hey, you're Beautiful. Good at this. From right. there, you're gonna put the big toe down and lift the other lateral four up. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you guys do this at home, which I hope you do, I want you to notice what your hands do because the mm -hmm. cortical mapping of the brain, right, the hands and the feet are next to each other, so everyone's like this. Oh. They start to point their fingers when they're trying huh. to get the toes to work because oh, it's so not. So you're trying to direct them. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Listen, toes. <laughs> Okay, so Actually, put, this is a good stretch if you have to wear high heels like oh that all the time. It's Dr. fantastic. Dr. Bajra, you're a pro. Did you practice this? You know, actually, I wish I had. You know how type A I am. If I had known I was going to do this, I would have absolutely you practiced. Oh, okay. So here you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so put those toes down. Give mm -hmm. them a second. The next one we're going to do, mm -hmm. you're going to curl the, this is kind of gross. Okay. You're going to curl the big toe under, and then you go with the other four pull out. So it's called the toe chop. Okay. Now, if you have long toes like me, it's even harder. Okay. So you've got to get them around. Am I not getting them around. I I'm think you sure. are. I can't see. Oh, oh yeah, look. There we that go. Great. Okay. There you go. Uh-huh. And then switch sides. Oh, yeah. Okay. Switch toes. You might find one side is easier to do than the other. Okay. So, yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Like that, actually, right? it was easier on my other side. This yeah. side, I think I don't balance quite as well. Yeah. So it's interesting. It actually gives you a lot of information about your core strength and your posture. Oh my gosh. When yes. you find which side you balance Absolutely. better on. And if there's a kink in the chain, right? So if your mm -hmm. feet are disconnected. He's uh -huh. doing it. Oh. I know. I'm, I'm coming here. <laughs> One reason only, and that is this. Nicole, yoga is intimidating, right? Yeah. But the stuff you're doing with your toes is the same thing that you all do with your bodies that I can't do. Look at my feet. I can't spread spread those toes. They're not spreading. Huh. Bend the toe joint, can't do it. Oh. Those little piggies are sad. They are. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Aww, not. <laughs> no, so I had, you know, I, I had surgery on this toe many years oh. ago. I can't, I, I can barely move it. It's all right. jacked up. It's, so what is a beginner toga move for those of us who will never be good at toga? What, is there anything I can do? You're gonna love this. Okay. So I just want you to spread the toes. Like she's clearly I, a professional I, toe spreader. So you're gonna work on that. But how about, have you ever had a pedicure? Yes, yes, we have. Have you ever had a pedicure? Drew and I had a you pedicure betcha. together. That's beautiful. You can see that has been a long time. So there's... <laughs> So maybe they have these little toe spreaders, right? You can put mm, those in there. You know what I'm talking about? I have a pair of those. See? Toe spreaders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're gonna put those in there and just wear them around for a bit. Okay. Like, get some, there's gotta be, the mechanoreceptors have to be talking, right? Like your brain has to be talking to your feet and you have to remind it that that's happening, that you have feet that yeah, need attention. Yeah, this is me trying to move toes. Yeah. I mean that. But it gets better. It has to, you know why? Because our bodies, as you know, our bodies are so intelligent, yeah. right? I have neuropathy, I had nerve damage in my right foot from L4, L5, S1 herniation and rupture. Yeah. And I, more, the more I've done this, the stronger I've gotten. My toes, I could not separate how, how my long, toes at all. How, how long do you wear the toe spreader for? Like I an hour start, a day? Oh, that's aggressive. But you could maybe start a little less. I'm an aggressive kind of guy, <laughs> so. He's a full throttle kind of guy. 
I mean, that's no. It's great. But, uh, if so, you can do an hour, it's great. Maybe you're sitting at your and desk. And you're talking about where it spreads all the toes apart. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. I went online they, they, and you I know bought. Those spreaders that when spreader. they paint your nails, it's like a little rubber or plastic. Oh, I went yeah. online okay. and bought one about a year ago. I wore it one time for about two minutes, and it took forever to put on, and I just ripped it off. Yeah. But I'm going to commit <laughs> to that. I think I've Drew, I'm a little sad that you no, didn't. Hey, no, I'm. Didn't Nicole, I mean, this little... is great stuff. Think yeah. about it. We are on our feet all day long. We, are. Yeah. we know how great yoga is for other parts of our body. It makes sense to me for women that are wearing these oh. tight shoes, high heels. I mean, that that wreaks havoc on your toes. I like this. This a lot. is your it's base great. for all things, and the thing that you ascribe to, which I do believe, is this is also everything else. So if you have mm -hmm. low back problems, it can all start at your base. We're giving Toga a buzz! Yeah! <laughs>